can is not um, in any way you know trying to trigger any problem in nigeria but rather can is standing in a position that they sh they should be a fair hearing genius radio actually looking at part of your case it's an alleged it was alleged that he did that we're not yet sure until it's being committed that he did that so we cannot leave our friend or our pastor in that situation he needs support at this particular moment so that we can be no back in his spiritual life until he's find guilty then we can either know whether we have to condemn him or to say or to say otherwise for now i like the support let's give that support so that i can be able to go over what is passing through now uh, the, the christian association of nigeria has its own personality disposition towards this because for a reputable camp like that a reputable camp for that matter must have taken a detailed study of the account of what actually happened without expurgating any aspect of it like i said earlier on that when this particular matter came up i did not focus much attention on it i did not have much details about it but i know for count to have actually supported this man for what he did I think the can should be justifiable to an excess because most of these, uh, most of the claims that have gone viral on the social media, we cannot actually be supported. The nitty gritty of the program is actually, is actually at death of some of these uh, social media users. So we have different cases like this, like that of a lady Chris come, came out recently from the United States of America claiming the same thing that Cristiano Ronaldo raped in raped her in some years ago but we have not the case is still under investigation now and the case of fato imbo pastor fato imbo was not actually dissimilar to what i've just said until the the veracity of the incident was fully established that is when you can say like i said i cannot join any issue on social media when the veracity of the scandal has not been established i think can as evidence Beyond reasonable doubt to have supported this particular man called Pastor Fatu Imbo. So, as a Christian organization, so let me say they supposed not to support him, and in another sense, they supposed to support him. So, let me just put that way. They supposed to support him. Another thing is that for the allegation, the allegation of the allegation made against him so nobody was there when the incident happened and so we can't say whether he actually committed the act or not so but we only hear it let me just say yes say so the person that made the allegation against him so he was saying that probably he had i mean she had the issue with him before so as a result of that so that's why she decided to probably bring that against him so that's the way i look at it so in that case you should expect uh what's it called can and eh, not to be in in support of the person that actually made the allegation so to, to be to throw their i mean their uh, sign behind the the pastor in question nigeria to support uh, the pastor is the, the reason is that if they know the kind of pastor they have, because in Nigeria today they might pay a woman to go and accuse a, a popular pastor. His own is not a first time. It has happened to apostles, apostles, little man once before. So for his own now, if a Christian Association of Nigeria is support him, they are right on that. Because at last they will come out and say that the the whole issue is a lie. The thing we want to talk about is whatever. Uh, things that happened to him in his church. So they might just felt, okay, is a, so far as a Christian, he's calling the name of Jesus in his church and it's relating with all other Christians or like all other churches, you know. So they might want to take his back to speak on his behalf. So to me, I felt it's okay. Initially, why they didn't talk, I don't even know why because I expect them to say something or maybe they should just come to his aid and say, oh, what's up? What is the thing that has been happening? What has been going on? you understand and at the same time like we have the lord's generals i call them lord generals like pastor ea adeboye pastor yedepo uh pastor the mfm pastor pastor ulukoya none of these say didn't say a word 
if not just of reason that Pastor Adeboye during his, uh, the last month convention, uh, Holy Ghost service, then said something related to that, and it didn't even come out rightly. He just speak in parable. Do you understand? Then speak in parable. Then use some Bible verse to back it up. And if you are wise, then you will know that it's relating that issue to what happened. So I felt it is okay for them to have come out at this time to talk. You understand? Because to me, I felt bad. Because it's as if the guy was let alone to face the music on itself. And we don't even know maybe the allegation. You understand? It was a false allegation. We don't know. You understand? So that is my own plight. Uh, it's a rape um, accusation. So I think um, thorough findings should be made before supporting him. Because rape should not be taken lightly. So... I think they should make proper findings. They're not supposed to just support like that. Make proper findings and because uh, someone's um, dignity and everything is at stake here. So they should, basically, I just think they should make proper findings. That's all I have to say. Well, the issue of rape against the Koza pastor, Pastor Biodon Fatoyebo, is a critical issue. Um, Consider the fact that the rape case is old. I mean, the rape event did not happen just recently. You know, something that happened, you know, more than 17 to 18 years ago, if I'm not making a mistake. Um, according to the victim, uh, Biodon Dakolo, she said, uh, Babe Busola um, uh, Dakolo, she said it happened when she was a teenager. And that was a long time ago. And ever since then, she kept mute over the whole issue. She didn't report it. And you know the nature of rape case is a very sensitive matter. Okay? When you are a victim of rape, common sense has it that you should report to your parents. Even though you cannot stand in a police station and lodge a complaint. Maybe probably because of your age limit. But you should discuss such matter with your parents. That your parents in turn will pick up the issue and report it to the appropriate authority. But this um, lady, uh, um, uh, Busola, in question did not do this. Um, okay. Sir, assemblies we are aware of this situation. Uh, as no, no, excuse me, anyone can come up with allegation against anyone. I can accuse you for something that you, know, you didn't do. Anyone can accuse anyone for anything. Now, the onus of proof lies on the accuser you don't just come up and tell the whole world that Fato, pastor Fato Yubo, um, uh, raped you i want all of us to believe you you have to prove it and on the other hand Fato, pastor Fato Yubo himself is presumed guilty in this kind of situation because the lady has no proof i'm not saying that there are no pastors that raped um, uh, girls so. in christianity today the situation is a mess I tell you, a lot of unscrupulous elements hide under the cover of religion to perpetrate so many atrocities. So we know that it happens in Christianity, it happens in Islam, and it happens in every other religion. Okay? In Nigeria, it's more prevalent. The reason is because the Nigerian government and the relevant authorities have not really woken up to their responsibilities. They've not been a search light into the activities of the church. We have cases of pastors serving jail term. Reverend King is there start serving jail term for issue of a murder. So they've been abused. Yeah, to a large extent, I would say yes, yes. Because uh, so far so good, ever since the exception of the uh, Boko Haram thing, you know, there are a lot of things that we've been hearing about insecurity here and there. The killing of people right from jaws, the just um, massacre and all. You no, know, we mentioned few. You know, I want to believe. Uh, yes, Fulani has. You know, they have adverse you know, effect on it. Now you've heard the opinions of Nigerians on the streets. You, our viewers, let me know what you have to say about this. My name is Fulani Funke, and keep watching Street Opinions on Genius Radio TV.